Hi everyone, it's Laura here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to create a woodland scene using stamps by Impronte d'Autore. Impronte d'Autore is an Italian brand which produces stamps and dyes and last fall they came out with a series of stamps based on Alice in Wonderland and I think the theme is great and the illustrations are really outstanding so I had to go ahead and get them all and I decided to feature some of the stamps in today's video. I shared this card on my Instagram profile a while back, actually this was one of my most liked pictures in 2017 and I finally got around to editing and uploading the video, so here it is. There is quite a bit of coloring in this card and because I didn't want this video to be too long I decided to make two separate videos. This one you're watching now will show only the coloring for Alice and will focus more on the building up of the scene. And then I will upload a separate video without much voiceover, it will be mostly music, where you'll see me color all the images. You will find the video listed in the description box down below, as well as at the end of this video. Coming back to the coloring, I am adding my shadows as if the light source is on the top right of the screen, so that my shadows will be mostly focused on the bottom left part of the images. And I am also taking care of cast shadows, which are shadows projected by objects standing in front of other objects. And one example here would be Alice's arms. These are standing on top of the dress and so will project a shadow on the dress itself. At this point I think I have talked enough, so I will leave you with some music to enjoy the coloring process for the image of Alice. I will write on screen the minute at which you can skip in case you're not interested in watching me color and if you instead want to see the full coloring for these images again check out the link in the description box down below and also at the end of this video. And that's it I guess, I will catch you guys when it's time to put together our scene. Once my images are all colored up, I can start working on the landscape elements. I cut two grassy borders out of some Bristol Smooth cardstock by Strathmore using a dye by My Favorite Things, and I will be adding color to these panels using Distress Inks. I will be building dimension on my scene not only by layering the two panels, but also by using darker colors on the one that will end up in the back, because this will push it even further away from the foreground. Because I want to build a woodland scene, I need some trees, so I used the dye by Crafting Desert Divas to cut out some more Bristol Smooth cardstock, and now I am adding color again using Distress Inks. And the way in which I'm shading my trees is consistent with the 
the way in which I colored my images. So I am assuming that the light source is on the top right corner and therefore I'm applying my lighter color which is T dye on the right side of the trees and I will add vintage photo which will be my shadow color to the left side of the trees. I can now go ahead and start working on my sky. I cut a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock by Strathmore using a dye by Studio Katia and now I'm adding distress inks in Stormy Sky and Broken China. And if you want to know the names of the products I use for this project, you can find them listed on my blog. It will be linked in the description box down below so you can check it out. The final element for my scene is the foliage on the trees. And I was inspired by a video which was published by Christy Gets Crafty. She's awesome. I really, really like her videos. Anyway, she used these puffy cloud dyes by Lon Fond to create bushes, I believe. And I thought I would use the same trick to uh, create my foliage for the trees, as I said. And I listed all the distressing colors that I used on screen right now for your reference. And at this point I have all the elements ready and I can go ahead and start assembling the card. I used the same dye by Studio Katia that I used for the sky to trim down my grassy borders. And then I am adhering down on my background using some tape runner by Crafters Companion. And after that it's the turn of the trees. And because the die cuts are much longer than my sky panel, I can lay them on my background trim off the pieces that hang off and use the trimmings to create other trees so that I save myself a little bit of time and crafty material and I get a nice thick forest behind my characters. I am now gluing the trees one by one using some liquid glue and I'm doing it this way because I am sure I will position them back where I wanted them to be in the first place. And the last element for my woodland scene is the foliage on the trees. I am using that same Studio Katia dye to trim off the bushes that hang off the sky, because this way I will have a continuous dotted pattern all over my card front. And once I'm done with this step, I can go ahead and adhere the foliage too. I am going to skip ahead a little bit because I don't think you need to sit down and watch me adhere every single die cut on this card, but I wanted to give you sort of an impression of what the process of building a scene is. And this is the final result. I am mounting my scene on a card base that I cut at a standard A2 size using another die by Studio Katia. And then I can go ahead and adhere my characters. Last minute I decided not to have Ali sitting on the mushroom but to use the mushroom as another element for the background because I thought this would bring even more depth to the scene. And finally I'm using a mixture of liquid glue and uh, tape adhesive to stick down all my characters. And the last elements on my card are these puffs of smoke that I will adhere in the center of my scene and also add a nice pop of color to the card. And that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can visit my blog for the full list of supplies and I'll catch you guys soon with the next one. Ciao!